And over the weekend, Republicans in Michigan chose um, their candidates for statewide office in November. These will be the Republican candidates in Michigan for secretary of state and attorney general. Uh, one of those two candidates, the one on the left, spoke at a QAnon conspiracy theorist conference, conspiracy theory conference late last year. She's now the official Republican Party nominee to be secretary of state in Michigan, which means she'll be in charge of overseeing elections for the whole state if she wins in November. That prospect is especially frightening in a state like Michigan. You might remember that during the last presidential election, Michigan's Republican Party came within centimeters of not certifying Biden's election victory, even though he clearly won in Michigan and by a lot. In the end, it came down to just one Republican member of a Michigan state canvassing board who resisted tons of pressure from his own party that he should agree to overturn the election results. He voted to certify Joe Biden's victory. Michigan Republicans then decided to retaliate against him. They refused to let him keep that job on that state canvassing board. They replaced him with a new Republican, a conservative activist named Tony Daunt. Well, today, Mr. Daunt, that conservative activist who Michigan Republicans specifically chose for that key election post, today he resigned from his position in the Mich Michigan Republican Party. He wrote a letter to party leaders that was obtained by the Detroit News. In it, he wrote that, quote, cowardly party leaders have made the election here in Michigan a test of who is the most cravenly loyal to Donald Trump and to relitigating the results of the 2020 cycle. Incredibly, rather than distancing themselves from this undisciplined loser, far too many Republican leaders have decided that encouraging his delusional lies and even worse, cynically appeasing him despite knowing they are lies. Whether it's misguided true belief, cynical cowardice, or just plain old grift and avarice, it is a losing strategy, and I cannot serve on the governing board of a party that is too stupid to see that. Trouble and turmoil in lots of Republican parties in lots of swing states.